Greetings and welcome back to No Man's Sky. In the meantime, I have built my scientific uh, terminal here and I have this fellow here. This is a Corvax. I've run a couple of missions for him. At the moment, he wants me to scan some animals. The problem with it is I think I've scanned everything on this planet that I've seen so far. So I'm probably going to have to go somewhere else for that, which you know, let's face it, that's part of the game anyway. So that one's going to have to wait. So in terms of what to do, um, my overseer wants me to go to a specific abandoned building. And um, where would that be anyway? There, that way. Um, and get some data from the inside. I think he's going to give me the ability to make cargo containers then, uh, which are a little bit frustrating, but very useful. Um, in terms of abandoned buildings, well, there's some things you probably should know about them. And as a result, I kind of stopped at one earlier today. And this is what happened. In my travels, while I was searching my little home away from home, wherever that final home ends up being, uh, I came upon an ancient data store. It was kind of these little cylinders with these you know kind of like cubes on the top red ones and if you search them well basically you get navigation data which is kind of important early in the game uh, i also in addition to another one over here i also found one of these not quite useful to me yet though uh, drop pods are amazing but i can't open one yet there's still one thing that i need to learn first and that's antimatter. That comes when you learn how to warp, unless I find the uh, formula before then. Oh, and I also found this here, which is really good. Not useful now, but it would protect me from toxic environments. So I didn't install it yet, but I probably should actually just go right ahead and do that. Hold on a second. Um, just install that. That's going to help me in toxic environments. Of course, this isn't a toxic environment. This is a radiation environment. So what I was doing is I was searching for um, distress signals using the navigation data. I was looking for something specific, but came upon something else. This is an abandoned building. Early on, these are things you probably want to know about. All right, so I think we're probably just going to do this. All right, the first thing is... The first thing is we go inside. Now, sometimes these places can be very irritating because there might be a, uh, a tentacle like on the top. And even if you have weapons, you can't attack them. So that can be very irritating. All right. Um, searching everything is a good idea. Just grab everything. And of course, uh, anything like this, which is going to give you faction. And I don't see anything that's going to give me nanites. All right, now the big thing in here is, where is it? Okay, so this here. Basically, you're in here to get nanite clusters. Uh, you can also get some of this um, residue goop. So I'm just gonna put that in my exosuit. And then we're gonna go into this. And it's just going to basically just, I'm going to get to the point where I'm going to search the log and I'm going to come up with uh, nanite clusters. Okay, 33. All right, so I have a total of 271, not enough to get. That one that I just installed, by the way, that probably goes for about 460. So it's a good find. Uh, at the moment, like I said, a radiation one would be better. But it would cut through a lot. Oh, did I? Yeah, that was the, uh, the other thing. All right, but that is not the real importance of this location. The real importance of this location is out here. These eggs. Now, these eggs are glorious. But they're also extremely dangerous. Oh, and the eggs over here, as a matter of fact. Hold it a minute. Okay, these are the other ones, the ones that were near the trading base. So you'd open it up with an E, and then you'd grab the pearl. And just one of them is worth uh, 9,000, and you can have a stack of uh, five of them. I'm just basically doing that for comparison purposes, because these are amazing. 
Yeah, there's a problem with them, though. A little side effect. All right, I'm just going to make sure that I don't die here. Uh, let's put some... Uh, yeah, one of that. The thing is, you have to have to kind of cut through the the uh, the outer opening there to get to what's inside. And what's inside doesn't last very long, and it has a tendency to roll around. The real problem is that you're going to get the descendants very angry by doing that. And what's going to happen is, if you cut into one of them... Um, let me think about this for a moment. I'm trying to find one that I won't be able to op get to. Okay, how about that? How about that one? So, if I was to open this up... Yeah. Okay. In here. Yeah, there's a whole bunch of them outside now, right now. A whole bunch of them. And uh, they'll kill you quick. Basically, I picked one of the eggs that I wouldn't be able to get to easily anyway. Um, so you kind of have to wait for them to go away. Now, you could also fly up on top of the building you know, using a jetpack. And eventually, the swarm will subside. So there's a big cost to them. The thing about it is you really do want them. And there is a technique that makes it a little safe. See, if I'm outside right now, if I'm up on top of the building, I'm also getting the radiation and I'd be burning through resources in order to keep it going. You know, the, uh, the sodium. Okay, see, the swarm is subsiding. You only saw one of them. There was a bunch of them. All right. I don't know if they're actually gone. See, if I sat on top of this building up here, okay, my jetpack isn't as good as I'm used to. Right, so that one was gone. They don't exist very long. What can happen sometimes, if I was standing right here and I was getting it, you might have one of those guys pop up right underneath me and then it would roll over here or something because they're very physics orientated. So they can be a little tricky to get that way. They're also kind of dangerous to get that way. However, there is another idea that can work. As I said, they're very physics orientated, so I'm looking for a good one here. That is... I could get three of them, I think. I think I could get three of them. Alright, so this is what I'm going to do. I'd, actually, that might be difficult. Alright, hold on a minute. Let me pick another one. That's better. I get two of them. I'll get two of them. That's that's gonna that's gonna do. All right. And basically, just kind of like dig down a bit there. All right. Uh, I might be able to get that one there. All right. Switching to my uh, mining beam. I'm hoping it rolls down. Okay. And pick it up quickly. There we go. Okay. Now, I'm down here. And they can't get to me. Now, the good part about this is that... Am I, am I down far enough? Hold on a minute. Okay. So, they're up there. I'm down here. So, but here's the thing. And... Got it. They will vanish really quickly. Alright, and then there's that one. Oops, um... Got it. Okay, um... Let me just refill my hazard protection. There we go. Okay, so now why do I want those and why do I want to risk them so much? Well, because I'm carrying three of them, right? Remember how this was 9,000? Well, three of these are 209,000. More importantly, those can also be used for something else. If I was to put one of those into one of my refiners, each one of these will get me 
50 of the nanite clusters. So at the moment though, I think the money is kind of more useful to me. All right, so once the, uh, the horde subsides, it will be safe to go out. Now they won't vanish until I get out of here. They're kind of bugged that way, but of course they're kind of bugged in the first place because they can't come down here. Now even though it says the horde subsides, they're not going anywhere. So I do need to get out of here. Hold on a minute. And notice all the sounds of them jumping into the ground. Okay, so they're all gone now. Okay, and I just fell down the hole again. Alright, let's see. So... Okay. So I picked this one because they could just fall down. I could access them from below. Let's see if I can get another one here. Alright. These two are doable. That one right there is sitting, like, on metal. So I wouldn't be able to get that one. Unless I started with that one. Alright, let's just... Uh, let's see what we can do here. Not the mining beam, the terrain manipulator. See, I could get to those. And I gotta make it so they can roll, you know what I mean? Alright, that one I'm not gonna be able to get. Uh, unless I get lucky with the roll. Um, I don't think so, I think it's gonna roll the other way. Alright, so I'm gonna go down here. Okay. Radiation subsiding. Where's the other one? There. All right. Let's see if I can get lucky with this. There we go. Okay. It's not rolling. Hold on. Got it. Because it would have vanished. All right. And let's see. Back to the mining laser. And... Got it. You have to hold down the E to pick it up. All right, so I have a full stack of them right now, and you can see, very, very profitable indeed. So what I'm gonna probably do is I'm gonna hang out here and try to get as many as I can. And like I said, right there, if I look at this, this would be 250 of the nanite clusters, or it would be the amount of money you see in front of you for if I wanted to sell it. Obviously, these guys here, I used them because they were convenient and they were right next to the base. And it was decent money. It was simple, too, because there was no threat to it. You saw me pick one up. By the way, the reason I'm holding this stuff here is because you can recycle that a couple of times and then get nano clusters from it. Um, I don't know if that's enough to actually keep. If I had to drop something, I'd probably drop that. All right, so now I'm going to wait for them to subside. And I'm going to, uh, yeah, there they go. Of course, I have to jump out of the hole in order to make them go away. But I'm going to try to get as many of these as I can. And, uh, yeah, then profit. Right, so abandoned buildings are useful and dangerous. And also profitable. Yes, I came out with a lot of them. So uh, I may be doing that again. Uh, there is something else I want to do first. If you'll notice down here, I have a full stack of 15 salvage technology. Now, you actually haven't seen me gather any of them. Uh, they're around. Where are they? There's one right there. Basically, what you'd do is you'd find the location, you'd step on top of it, you'd get your, mana manipul your terrain manipulator out, and you just dig. And it's really not too far away from the ground. And then you just kind of E it, and you get between one and four. The last one I did actually got me four, so that was good. Uh, what do you use those for? Well, remember our blueprint analyzer? Yeah, well, there's some things that I want. Things popped up. All right, so let's take a look here and see what we're going to get. All right, what do I want? All right, see, I got the cylindrical room here available, but you can also see the straight corridor. Very useful. All right, so we're going to grab both of those, and I'm hoping I'm going to be able to make them. Okay, and a door, but I'm not going to use... I might use that one. It's pretty expensive. All right, straight corridor. Ladder, eventually. All right, here, let's get the door. Okay, window, not at the moment. How many do I have left? All right, ladder, probably useful. Cylindrical room frame. I don't know about that one. We're going to do window. L-shaped corridor. I don't have enough for that one. I think I'm going to hold on to the last four for now until I have more. 
All right, so what do I go to do with this? Okay, base archives, new signal acquired. Yeah, that's where you want me to go. All right. All right, so what I want to do is I want to make an add-on. When I uh, set this up, I made sure I was going to leave this area open right here, right? You got the two places here. We got the door here. This is in the corner. And I got my teleporter here. Oh, uh, by the way, I apparently have to get to a certain point in the story before this will function. Um, when it does, it's glorious. Until then, though. All right, so I'm going to put the corridor there. So let's see. Let's do this with a, uh, a Z. And, of course, now we have a new entry here. Structures, right? And uh, let's put... Hold on a second. Select it. And then that. Okay, let's put that there. It's pure ferrite. So, boom. I'm only going to do one. It's the only reason to do one. And then what I'm going to do is... Let's do this again. And... Uh, okay, I don't have enough pure ferrite for that. I know a way of fixing that, though. Oh, you want me to do something over here. Okay, uh, hold on a minute. First off, um, refill for a second. All right, I have pure ferrite. I have ferrite dust. I think I have some up in the ship, too. Unfortunately, it's not directly over me. Hold on a minute. Let's try that now. Ferrite dust. Oh, there my exosuit. All right. I had some extra uranium because I went mining for it. All right. So what I'm going to do is I am going to put the... I need this, the ferrite dust. Put the ferrite dust in here. That should be enough. All right. I'm going to let that turn into uh, pure ferrite. And then we'll be back. Okay. I heard the refiner stop, so... Either he ran out of power or he's done. It seems that he's done. Let's try that again. All right. Z. And this. Okay. And this. Hold it a minute. Is that right? Hold it a second. I'm looking for it to snap into place here. Oh, I think it did there. All right, and... Okay, I hope that's right. Okay, there we go. So, I have a nice little place here, I think. Did they give me the ability to make a window? I, didn't, I get, didn't I get a window? And uh, when you look at this, you'll notice aqua construction. Here. Uh, at the moment, they just have one deep sea chamber just because I only eventually you'll be able to make complete bases underwater uh, with tubes and everything but it's a matter of I made this one you know the round one so I can make the underwater one too all right but I'm looking for this didn't I make window oh I don't have what I need for that oh I need glass for that okay all right fine I'm gonna need to do that because I want to put some windows in here. Uh, I can throw a door on it, uh, but at the moment there's no real need to. So you can just have your wood base and then just build the corridors and you're right in here now. All right, let's just make sure I have space. Uh, somebody gave me ammonia. It's actually the fuel for this thing here, the irradiating detoxifier. That's if I'm in a toxic environment, I can use ammonia to refill it. It lasts a lot longer than the regular hazard protection, and the regular hazard protection is a backup. Once that one wears down, then it goes there. But something activated over here now. So let's take a look at what we got. This, of course, was my, uh, my base computer, so let's see what it's got. Okay, as in previous logs from previous owner, follows. Scanner detects unusual, repeating 16, the space station. Archives interrupted. Emergency broadcast detected. The traveler finds their wings. Uh, they f they fly towards us. Okay. Base can interrupt the retrieval. Delayed message. Okay. Perhaps the message is right. Okay. All right. Sixteens. 
Okay, so is that the, um... Wait a minute. Investigate the signal. Inquire about the strange signal on the space station. Okay, so that's storyline going on. I don't suppose you turned on now, did you? No, I didn't think so. All right, I'm probably going to have to follow it up. But at the moment, I'm going to do what my overseer wants me to do, and that's head over to, where is it? Expanding the base. We're going to go over to the abandoned base building, get the data, and come back. All right, so... I'll eventually build a nice way of getting up here. But I think I got the hang of it now. I just have to wait here until my jetpack has restored. And then go straight up, and then go that way. All right, let's go. Ooh, 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 ooh. Oh, that's a that's an 831. Ooh, that'd be. I don't like that design though. I kind of like the uh, the wide ones, but I mean, I would. Okay, that looks like a lower level one. Six million. All right. Okay. I was using the distress signals because I was trying to find a crashed ship. I don't know if there are any more on this planet, so I might go searching on another planet. Alright. Where am I going? I'm not going there. Where was... There. How far away is that? N pretty darn close. No problem. Hopefully there's a nice landing platform here. And I don't see one. Sometimes it pops up at the last minute, but in this case, no, it does not. I did get um, a bunch of uranium. And let's, just, let's hold off on grabbing stuff. Ooh, eggs. Yummy. All right, um, let me go around. Yeah, why do they always put the door in the back? Why do they always put the door in the back? Okay, anything on the ceiling? You see, you can't access your tools or your weapons in here, so if there's, like, a tentacle on the ceiling whacking you every once in a while, it's really annoying! I suppose the good thing about it, though, is that eventually you want to break into things called manufacturing facilities. And uh, once you get inside, even if the robots on the outside who are guarding come in, they can't shoot you. Mind you, if they're at the door and they see you like that, then they can shoot you. But once they come in, they can't shoot you. There's no violence inside buildings. Okay, and... Projectile ammo. I certainly wish I could use that. All right, and I have space for eggs, too. Isn't that nice? All right, and uh, let's check this out, because this is the information that he wanted. Okay, I had to actually get rid of the goo the last time. Oh, can you... Am I close enough to put the goo in there? Good, good, good. All right, let's see what you got here. User identified, accessing schematics. Uh, the place the overseer has led me to has long since fallen to disrepair. Its panels are buried beneath... Uh, the same oily, pulsating fauna that is seen along buildings. Okay. All right, just give me the stuff. Analyze the schematics. Okay, my overseer's intuition has served me well. I shall trust that these schematics will contain a lot of data. Okay, so I got what I needed to get from here. Uh, do, can I get the nanites? Input test data? It was worth a shot, right? It was worth a shot. Uh, maybe he's going to send me back here with something. All right. Um, in the meantime, um, I noticed that I have inventory slots, and I noticed that there are eggs about. I'm going to uh, do a little collecting. Uh, we'll uh, get back together a little bit later. Okay, it's morning. Job's done. Had a busy night. So let's just... Uh, that's actually the one I like because that way I can access my base. Okay, yeah, it didn't want to land. It doesn't want to land sometimes, you know? Uh, that irritates me. Okay, we'll do this then.
Okay. I'm eating it, and it doesn't want to land. Let's try that yet again. All right, here. And there we go. Not where I'd like to land, because I don't have access to my base from there. Uh, I'm a little far away. All right, so let's head back over here. Okay, how much are you worth? Seven, six million. All right. Hey, guys, how's it going? All right, so, yeah, these guys here. All right, this is probably the last time I'm going to be selling these guys, but it is kind of important that I have money early on, right? But in the future, what I'll do... Okay, wait a minute. I'm actually in the selling menu, you know. There we go. In the future, I'm going to be turning these into nanites. It's just the money is really necessary right now. Not as much for ships, although that would actually be useful for helping. Uh, you are way too expensive. Okay, so let's go see our uh, little friend now that we've done the job for him. Okay, and I got a lot of money, so I'm getting... I got some... Uh, Milestone stuff, which you end up getting um, uh, nanites for, by the way, nanite clusters for. Uh, when you run into somebody, he's going to like that you do all that, and he's going to give you stuff. All right, uh, you. Okay, you're back. I'm so glad, friend. I will extract the storage blueprint as soon as I have the data. Uh, it is good to see the Gex so invested in the success of my home. They're clearly happy to see me. Okay. All right, give him the data. He's so happy about that. Okay, here's the blueprint, a trivial task. Okay. All right, now I've been given uh, the um, schematics for uh, storage units. There's actually 10 of them. I think he gave me nine. He gives me another one, though, for the full 10. You can only build one of each at your base. Each base, I should say. Um, they only store five stacks. But they're useful in that eh, they can access things that are far away. Let's just say that. Um, I don't actually have enough to build one of them right now. I could, and I might very well do that next time. Okay, I should let him go about his business. Okay, so he doesn't have anything else for me for now. He will have something for me. Um, return to the overseer. Let's see. Does it say, like, come back to him? Okay, return to him now? Sometimes those updates can be a little bit slow. Yeah, yeah, he does want me to come back to him. Okay, he's got his little symbol. All right, let's see. If I had some microprocessors, okay, all right, a weapons terminal. All right. This is where I need the science guy. Okay. So, I need to... Uh, yeah, it's telling me to return to him now? He's still got his thing above his head. Hold on a minute. Construct a microprocessor. I haven't done that. Oh, 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 wait a minute. I'm carrying one. Um, is that going to take it from him from long distance? Hold on a minute. I'm thinking of a circuit board. Uh, give. You've done well so far. I'm so happy. Okay, and the weapons terminal. I can make a weapons terminal. A life form just pleases you. Punish it. Okay, I like that idea. Okay, and... Oh, oh yes, right. I have to kill sentinels to get that stuff. I'm not going to be doing that yet. No, not be doing that yet. All right, so one of the reasons that I really wanted the money is that um, whereas I can um, I can find a ship, which is what I'm hoping to do, I'm hoping to find something expensive and trade it in, um, this is a more pressing problem right now, is that this thing is just terrible, and I need to do something about it. What is that I could build? A bowcaster. There's no purpose in actually making it, though. Um, 
I, I need a better multi-tool and that's what I'm going to focus on. All right, so for the moment, um, we learned how profit works in terms of eggs and some are profitable, some are extremely profitable and dangerous. And uh, yeah, I'm probably gonna be converting them into nano clusters from now on um, because I'm looking, gonna be looking for a place to spend this money probably on a mid-range multi-tool for now, uh, not the high-end one. If I could get an A or a B with a lot of open slots for now, that would be very sufficient for me. Anyway, I think that's gonna do for now. So what I have to do is I have to get something that I can attack uh, Sentinels with so that I can construct the, um, where is the item that he wanted? Equipment, not that one, not that one, that one. And I could put that one in here when the time comes. But you can see that I could do the chromatic metal, all I'd need for copper for that, and then convert it into chromatic. Um, the other substance you can only get one way, really. I mean, you could buy it, but you gotta kill sentinels, which is actually very satisfying too. It's just that, yeah, I can't really do that efficiently right now. Uh, my mining beam would work, but you know, I don't have a personal shield and they would shoot. They, they don't like when you shoot them. Anyway, I'm gonna do what I gotta do and then we'll come back and we'll have some other stuff. Maybe I'll actually have that weapons terminal. I'll go get like uh, one of those big warrior Vikings and start running missions for him. Anyway, I think this is going to do for now, so thank you very much for your attention. I really appreciate it. And play games, because games are fun. See you.